And joining us now is Nadav Zafrir, the former commander of Israel's Defense Forces Elite Intelligence Unit. He's also the co-founder and managing partner at Team 8A, a venture group that focuses on cybersecurity. Uh, thank you so much for being with us. I've never seen you know, anything like this. I've been covering Israeli politics now for decades and decades. And it's now, including the military, You've been at some of the protests, including some people from all over Israel. Talk to me about why this time it's different. Well, this is a, obviously a critical time in our history, Andrea. You know, um, our court, the independence of our court is so critical to our young democracy. Um, we don't have the checks and balances that you have in the United States. We don't have two houses of representatives. Uh, we don't have a constitution. We don't have a federal system. And so the independence of our court is critical. Um, in fact, our democracy in many ways is dependent on the independence of our courts, uh, and that's the crux of the debate that we're having in Israel right now. What's so unusual about this is that this is not an Israeli-Palestinian dispute, and there's been a lot of violence recently uh, and a lot of controversy yeah. and that may have been contributed to Netanyahu getting another term and putting this coalition together, but now it's so different. Um, what effect are the protests having on Israel's people and also the economy? Is there a brain drain? You've got the intellectual elites, including the tech sector, many people leaving. Yeah, that, that's that's why we're concerned, right? This is this is indeed a homemade crisis, and we must find a way to uh, to for a broad agreement and a constructive uh, debate that will solve this crisis. Because, you know, the, the almost miracle of the Israeli economy and our tech ecosystem, which is probably second to none, um, the fact that we are at the epicenter of global innovation um, is dependent on our institutions, is dependent on our infrastructure. You know, we're not an island. And so the world is looking at us and our democracy, and we, we must make sure that our democracy remains independent. There's a huge impact here, as you probably know, on the U.S. Jewish community. Many who have been strong supporters of Israel for years. We have Mike Bloomberg, who's helped build uh, hospitals and schools in Israel, and criticizing Israel here. Tom Friedman, uh, writing passionate uh, columns in the New York Times. So this has galvanized American, the American Jewish community across all sorts of uh, bi ideological sectors. Yeah. Look, I totally understand their concern. Uh, we, the tech leaders in Israel, are also very concerned. Uh, we understand that our economy is, is based on the support. And, uh, you know, at Team 8, for example, we're company builders. We're tackling some of the world's toughest uh, uh, challenges in technology today. Um, and we do this based on this incredible ecosystem. You know, we have our, our talent density is second to none our courageous entrepreneurs. Uh, we are well poised to lead the global innovation, but we also need global uh, investors to join us. And they're concerned, and I understand their concern because they're looking for stability. They're looking for continuity. And Nadav, uh, you know, one of the issues here is also, you know, what happens with Netanyahu, what happens with the future of Israel? Israel's been a right. democracy for so long, but here you've got uh, the president, usually the president of Israel is a titular figure, President Herzog. He's been trying to broker a compromise here. And this one, this latest one has fallen apart. He's from a famous Israeli, you know, founding Israeli family. His brother is the ambassador here in the U.S. Um, is there a chance that he could broker a compromise? Look, I, I applaud President Herzog for his uh, proposed outline for uh, a resolution, what, what is now called the People's Resolution. And I urge our leadership, including Prime Minister Netanyahu, who, by the way, has a lot of credit to the uh, uh, economy, to the tech ecosystem that we built here. Um, but this is a crucial time. And uh, yes, I do hope that uh, the resolution that President Herzog has introduced uh, would be the basis. I think it's, an, it's, a, re, it's a very good basis uh, for a reform. Look, we're not against a reform. We're against this reform, and we're protesting against the way this reform is being carried out. 